Welcome to the next collegiate and high school women's varsity sport, stunt. A stunt game consists of two teams competing head-to-head -head in four quarters of play. There are six routines, normally 30 seconds in length, designed for each of the first three quarters and four longer routines for the fourth quarter. Quarter one is partner stunts. Quarter two is pyramids and tosses. There's a 10 minute halftime. Quarter three is group jumps and tumbling. Quarter four is team performance. Well, it's all very entertaining, but um, my favorite part's fourth quarter. It's a build up to quarter four. The whole game's a build up to that. I absolutely love the fourth quarter. It's kind of a make or break. I've seen teams that were behind actually come back to win. So I think it's very exciting. Stunt games begin with the pregame coin toss, with the winner selecting the first routine to perform. The strategy of the coach with possession is to select the routine in each round that they feel gives their team the advantage over the opponent. There's a lot of strategy to it. A lot of late nights for us in the past couple of nights, just really trying to strategize. I really love being able to coach the games because you're in the moment and having to figure out what do we think their weaknesses are, what are we good at. It's fun. We've had several games where we've been behind and we've come back in the third quarter and won by one point. I think what I like most is probably the strategy that coaches have that's incorporated throughout the entire competition. Thus far, only had to worry about ourselves. And we've always said that, you just beat yourselves. Not in this game. In this game, you have an opponent. And not only do you have to be aware of how you're performing, but how they're performing as well. And as a coach, your play calling really comes into effect. We take notes on all the teams. I mean, it's kind of like football. We don't watch film or anything. But you know, we're watching the other teams and seeing what they can do and seeing how we can make ourselves better to get up to what they're doing. And I think if coaches really get a taste for it, that they'll really, really love it. Both teams then take the floor to perform the selected routine at the exact same time. The team with the best, most precise performance, as determined by the officials, is awarded two points and possession for the next round. The losing team is awarded one point. If there's a tie, both teams are awarded two points and possession alternates to the other team. Should the opposing team be unable to perform the selected routine, they may forfeit and be awarded zero points. If a team forfeits, they gain possession of the next round. This rewards safe performances and also may be a strategy used by a coach to regain control of the game. These first three quarters consist of four rounds of play the team with the lowest score at the end of each quarter is awarded possession to begin the next quarter. The fourth and final quarter consists of only two rounds and the routines are combinations of routines from the previous quarters. The winning team for each round of the fourth quarter is awarded four points, while the losing team is only awarded two points. This puts greater emphasis on the end of the game performance for both teams and allows the trailing team an opportunity to gain valuable ground. I'm hearing people talk about it all the time and it has been nothing but positive. I think that it's going to be something in the future that we just accept as part of cheerleading and we demand it, that our girls are athletes and they should be able to compete as such. We do conditioning, we work out with a strength coach, just like every other sport. We're lifting girls instead of weights. We're lifting athletes instead of weights. The athletic department has been very excited to add stunt. It's another opportunity for our athletes to showcase their talents and skills. Our students have been excited about it as well. I want to cheer in college, so, and I've been watching OSU and OU and UCO, and I've been like really wanting to do cheer in college, so I think I want to do stunt. I think it's just another opportunity for the kids. That's what it's all about. Stunt is in high demand and is the fastest growing sport in the country. Add a stunt program at your school. Go to usacheer.net and download the free guide. Or email college stunt at usacheer.net. Or high school stunt at usacheer.net.